Hi everyone, it's Luis again. Listen, today is Veteran Day, Veterans Day, and that's why there's this flag here and there's this flag here. So what I want to uh, take the time out out of this video is to wish wish every veteran a happy Veterans Day. Thank you for your service. Thank you for defending our country. And by the way, I don't know if you noticed that in some of my videos, I wear this cap. And uh, guess what? I'm a veteran as well. So uh, here's a picture of me sporting my, my dress blues uniform. That's what it's called. And the hat on the top, that's called a Dixie cup. And then the... the, the, the the thing on my, around my neck that looks like a a uh, like a necklace that's called a neckerchief, a neckerchief. So that's part of the uniform that I used to wear wear when I was in the navy. So let's put this aside for a while. Now my video is on uh, repotting a boba film. As you can see right here, this is a reliable bloomer for me. So it gets the award for being a veteran orchid. My vet veteran bobophyllum has bloomed for me every single year and it's one of my favorites. And I have another veteran dendrobium that's in bloom that I have given it the veteran award as well. So I'll show you that one later. So going back to the, the Basics on bobo films. Bobo films like to stay wet and they like to dry out fast, if not have a little bit more moisture around the roots. So this, they like shallow pots. So if you like uh, the Van der Baskets pots, if they're too deep, what helps, I got this advice from my friend um, John Verstegen, and he, what he does, if the pot is too deep, he undoes the hook where the wire goes and he takes several of the planks out and he makes the the basket shallower so by removing some of the planks you make the basket shallower and that's what bobo phylums like so what i did uh you know if you know what you know about me is that i used to be in the bonsai society so i have a lot of many many bonsai pots that I don't use anymore so what I do is I take advantage because they're short and shallow to use them for my boba films not only that uh, a concern is that well the plant's going to get too wide and take too much um, bench space so why don't you mount it or hang it well in my case I'm hanging it that's why I put this type of hanger it's just a plastic hanger and it has these little three prongs with the little hook, you know, and that hooks up to the outside of the pot and then I hang it. But the issue with me with mounting bobo films is that I think they dry out too fast, especially here in San Antonio. And I'm not a frequent waterer. Uh, I might do two waterings a week if it's really hot and there's a, a, a you know low humidity. So this is my best way for me to go. Now if you mount them, what I found a problem with, and I don't have uh, a mount for you to show you to show you, but I'm gonna just simulate with maybe this over here. This is what I've encountered. If you mount your bobo film and you put moss around here, or even if your your mount is made out of um, fern fiber, when you water it, the concentrated concentration of water is going to go down to the bottom, and any of the top part is going to become dry. So that's why I don't like mounting my bobo films. So uh, I prefer this. So what I have prepared is I prepared this plant. This is Bobophyllum medusae. 
and uh, it's as you can see it's growing out of the pot and it's a little bit too deep for my liking so if you can compare I'm gonna undo this and uh, I'm gonna try to not do or disturb the, the roots very much I'm gonna reuse some of this sphagnum moss and I'm gonna put it in here now what I did is that I already put the bottom inch or so I filled it with leaka pellets so it helps make the, the pot even shallower so that's all you need a shallow pot leaka pellets plant and moss and now the moss I have already oops pre soaked it so it's sphagnum moss and I'm soaking it in water rain water and any additional sphagnum moss that I might need for this I will use from here so first since this has a little hole there what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put pop it out and then I'm gonna spread the roots gently so that I don't break any of them so I'm gonna see do it here so you guys can see See, and at the same time, what I'm doing is I'm also pulling on the top. So I'm taking the tag out, and I'm pushing and pulling at the same time. There. See, that was real easy. So now, I'm going to spread this bottom part. See, look at the root. I'm going to show you the roots. See the roots? They're shallow and they're staying on the upper part. They, they don't go past here. All of this does not have any roots. They only stay in the upper part. So, actually, it fits kind of good right there. I don't know that I'm going to have to take too much out from the bottom. So what I'm going to do is just gently open the bottom a little bit now I normally prefer to repot in the spring but this plant was already coming out of outside of that basket so I decided to eh, let me repot it and plus I make this video and uh, you get to see how I do it so see what I'm really trying to do is to make sure that this lead right here touches uh, the moss that way it starts getting water because right now this part which is the main lead that needs the most water is getting the least water so by placing it in the moss is going to get more water see and on this one I already took up the support uh, pieces of wire but what I did when I first uh, put this one in the pot I put little clips on the leaves to keep it from wobbling so you don't want to make have the plant wobble too much see so now you can see what I'm doing it's almost feeding diagonally and that's a perfect fit for this plant so now what I do is just uh, I'm gonna squeeze out the water the excess water from the moss and I'm gonna add it around the plant like this so I put a big glob right here and then I just spread half of it there, half of it over here, and it needs a little bit on the other side. And there you go. I just repotted my bobophyllum 
my veteran bobo film and if I want to hang it I just put the hanger right here see how they just clip on it's like this and then I do a one over here and one over here and it'll go like this see right there so that's my repotting video I hope you like it um, again I want to end by wishing every veteran a happy Veterans Day now this is my other veteran plant this one wins a veteran award because uh, actually you know what I had I displayed this orchid in the garden center San Antonio Garden Center this was um, displayed there and it's bloomed for me every year I made um, videos on this plant is one of my favorite dendrobium sweet pink if you want to look that video on, uh, on there and plus I'll, I'll link it it'll be on the bottom right just click on it and it'll take you directly to there so hats off to veterans happy veterans day like my video subscribe share bye bye